So dogs, we are a nation that loves them, but what's one piece of essential kit that I think you need, whether you're getting a puppy or you have a permanent puppy, a small dog? Well, let's get started. This is the Kurgo K9 G Train rucksack. It's, it's more than that because it doesn't look like a dog carrier. Let's be honest, it looks more, it's got more of the hiking feel, which is something that, you know, I want if I'm, especially if I'm just taking it as a precaution, like maybe I want to carry Sammy, maybe I won't. Um, so it does look more like a hiking rucksack. It doesn't come cheap. It's almost 139 pounds. You can pick it up for 99 pounds. So do go and look out for those bargains, but it's a quality bag. It is high quality, it's rugged, it's sturdy, and it's comfy, which is the most important thing if you're going out on those long days. Now, why do you need a dog carrying rucksack? Well, you're getting a puppy, you're a big hiker, but what happens? You get a dog, a little dog, and they're not gonna be able to walk these long distances until they're maybe almost a year old. And so you don't want to sort of forfeit your walks or not bring the dog around at all. So you want to bring your dog and go for your long walks. You want the best of both worlds. So what do you do? You get one of these. Now, I've had this for a year now. I've had it for a year. I've used it on lots of long days and I am really, really impressed with it. I was a little bit cautious about buying it because obviously it is expensive. I thought maybe I was just being the ultimate dog mum but it's been worth it. There are a few cons which I will go through today as well. The benefits of this bag, as I said, the looks, it looks great. It looks great and it's comfy. It's got a waist strap. It's also got a chest, chest strap, which I did actually break. Don't know if that was me or design fault. Not sure, so just be careful when you're tightening up the chest strap. The waist strap is really good for those longer days. It just helps with the comfort. You can carry dogs of up to 11.3 kilos. It's not really a problem for me. Sammy, she's fully grown now. She's like 5.5 kilos. There's a lot of space in this bag to fit other things as well. There's a laptop sleeve. I don't know if you want to take your laptop hiking, but there is a laptop sleeve. There are internal pockets, internal zip bits, um, water bottle holders. One of the things is you do have to be careful not to pack it too much when you, because you do want space to actually put the dog in as well. You don't want to like overcrowd it. A couple of things I would say is if your dog is particularly small, like Sammy was, she was absolutely tiny when I got her, but I needed to use a waterproof uh, jacket to like raise her, like a booster, because she couldn't see out the back. You can see now she's only just, just being able to see. Some of the other cons that I would say is that the dog can't see in front. So it's not really a starter rucksack. If your dog's not used to bags, it might struggle in this. Um, Sammy, when I started, I would have her on my front, got her used to the bag very, very gradually. You know, put the bag on the floor, you put treats in there, let it sleep in there, let it get used to the smell of the bag and it becomes a place of security really. And as you can see, Sammy is pretty happy in the rucksack now. And she just goes in there, you know, when I am scrambling up rocks, when she's tired, if she gets tired, she doesn't get tired too easily. But um, it gives you a peace of mind if you are doing longer days and you are a little bit worried about either your pup or your little dog. Some of the things to be wary of in this bag is it can be quite precarious if your dog doesn't want to be in there. You can see the space is massive. So if they wanted to jump out, there is a tether, there is a tether to keep them secure, but even so, um, you don't want them hanging out. So you have to make sure they are comfortable in the bag um, before you do anything where you can't check up on them very easily. So when you get the rucksack on your back, I like to hold this grip here and make sure that you hold this one as well and very slowly tilt them because they will slide a little bit and then slowly put it on your back slowly put it on your back no big movements and then you are all sorted how is she all in all i think the bag is really really worth the price so if you are in the market for a hiking dog carrier i would recommend this one um, just as I say, get the dog used to it beforehand so you don't face any trouble later on. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Lucy, that's Sammy, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.